For the first time tonight, we are hearing from the family of a father and son who were killed this week in Bloomington. Bloomington police found three people inside a truck in a parking lot near France Avenue Thursday night. They say that one man in the truck shot and killed the two others before turning the gun on himself. Charmaine Nero sat down with a family member who says that this has shaken their lives. Absolutely, Morgan. There are still a lot of unanswered questions. And for the family of Dale and Dominic, it's been life changing to lose both loved ones at the same time. But they tell us they're pushing forward by remembering the good times, music and memories. This is our first year playing together. Looking through a photo collage. Me and Dominic made the sign by hand. I was 10 and Dominic was 11. Samuel Damon shares memories of his 25 year old brother. Dominic was my biggest supporter. We hung out together every night. We, we played together every weekend and my best friend. And his dad, 55 year old Dale, described by loved ones as a lifelong musician. Dad had been playing on stage with his own band since he was 12. That was his, his favorite thing in the world. Sam says his dad had a love of polka music and started playing concertina at age six, eventually starting his own band while also playing alongside his sons. In 2012, he was inducted into the Concertina Hall of Fame. Now he got into variety music later on, started playing weddings and, and private parties. He and um, his right-hand man, Mark Houck, he loved um, anything that he could do to help me and Dominic in our musical endeavors as well. But these joyous times are now just a memory. After Bloomington, police found three people dead inside a truck parked in a business parking lot Wednesday night described by police as a murder-suicide. Two of the victims were identified by loved ones as Dale and Dominic. The other described by police as a business associate. At 4 a.m. and I was on a flight that evening back home. It's sad and it's unfortunate that I won't be able to make any more memories. But as he looks back at happier times, he's holding on to every song and every photo of his brother and dad while waiting for answers. And for anyone out there, you know, tell your family you love them because you really don't know. I'm lucky that the last thing I said to both of them was I love you. Now, police haven't released any new details and say the investigation is ongoing. In the meantime, friends started a GoFundMe to help the family. We've included more information on carolevin.com. Back to you, Morgan.